question one, two z plus one is z. What value of z satisfies the equation above? So two z plus one is z. So two z minus z is negative one. So z is negative one. B. A television with the price of three hundred dollars is to be purchased with an initial payment of sixty and weekly payments of thirty dollars. Which of the following equations can be used to find the number of weekly payments required to complete the purchase, assuming there are no taxes or fees? So sixty is the initial payment and thirty times W because each week you pay thirty dollars. So for W weeks you will pay thirty W. That total should be three hundred. So three hundred is sixty uh, plus thirty W C. The table above shows shipping charges for an online retailer that sells sporting goods. There is a linear relationship between the shipping charge and the weight of the merchandise. Which function can be used to determine the total shipping charge in dollars for an order with a merchandise weight of X pounds? So we can use y is equal to mx plus c, where the slope is going to be. Let's use this and this. 21.89 minus 16.94 divided by 10 minus 5. So that's 589 um, and 4 divided by 5. So that's 0 0.99, right? So the slope is 0 0.99. So I can write y is 0.99x plus c. And then I can use 5 and 16.94 in this equation to find c. So 16.94 is 0 0.99 into 5 plus c. So c will be 16.94 minus 4.95, which is 9. 9 and 11. So 11.99 is C. So the answer becomes option B. The line in the XY plane above represents a relationship between the height H in feet and the base diameter X in feet for cylindrical Doric columns in ancient Greek architecture. How much greater is the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of five feet then the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of two feet. So base diameter of two feet, the height is 14 and for five feet, the height is 35. So difference is 35 minus 14, which is 21 C. If X is greater than zero, which of the following is equivalent to the given expression? So root nine X square would be three X, so A. What are all the values of x that satisfy the equation above? So x square minus one by x minus one is negative two. So obviously x cannot be equal to one because that would make the denominator zero. So I can write the numerator as x minus one times x plus one by x minus one is minus two. X minus one cancels, so X plus one is minus two, so X is minus three. So minus three is the only solution for this equation. The graph of Y is equal to FX is shown in the XY plane. What is the value of F zero? So F zero is four, as you can see from the graph. In the figure above, point B lies on AD. What is the value of 3x? So we can see that this is 90 degrees. So 2x plus 2x plus x is 90 degrees. So 5x is 90 degrees. So x is 18. So 3x would be 54. Which of the following is an equation of line in the xy plane above? So using y is equal to mx plus c. To find m, I can use minus 4 comma 0 and 0 comma negative 4. So m will be negative 1 and c is negative 4. So y is equal to 
minus x minus 4. So x plus y is negative 4. So that would be option C. The graph of y is equal to 2x squared plus 10x plus 12 is shown. If the graph crosses the y-axis at the point 0 comma k, what is the value of k? So when I put x equal to 0, y is 12. So k is 12. A circle in the xy plane has center 5 comma 7 and radius 2. Which of the following is an equation of the circle? So the equation of the circle is x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared is r squared where h comma k is the center and r is the radius. So here it would be x minus 5 whole squared plus y minus 7 whole squared is 2 squared. So that would be option A. In the figure above, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. What is the value of cos E? So if the triangles are similar, then angle E will be equal to angle B, right? So cos of E will be the same as cos of B. And cos of B would be base over hypotenuse. So that's 12 by 13. In the xy plane, the graph of this function has two x-intercepts. What is the distance between the x-intercepts? So x squared plus 5x plus 4 is x plus 1 times x plus 4. So the x-intercepts are minus 4 and minus 1. So the distance between them is 3. What are all the values of x that satisfy the given equation? Square root of 4x is x minus 3. So 4x is x minus 3, the whole squared, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. So x squared minus 10x plus 9 is 0. So x minus 1 into x minus 9 is 0. So x could be 1 or 9. But we need to verify both of these because there is a radical in the equation. So when x is equal to 1. The left-hand side is square root of 4, which is 2. And the right-hand side is 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. So here, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are not equal. So x equal to 1 is not an answer. And when x is 9, the left-hand side is square root of 4 into 9, which is 6. And the right-hand side is 9 minus 3, which is also 6. So x equal to 9, 2 only is the answer. In the system of equations above, A is a constant for which of the following values of A does the system have no solution? So for no solution, A1 by A2 should be equal to B1 by B2, and that should not be equal to C1 by C2, where A1, B1, and C1 are the coefficients of the first equation, and A2, B2, and C2 of the second one. So minus 3 by a should be equal to half and that should not be equal to 6 by 4. So working with these two, a becomes negative 6. A manufacturer ships units of a certain product to two locations. The equation above shows the total shipping cost in dollars for shipping c units to the closer location and shipping F units to the farther location. If the total shipping cost was $47,000 and 3,000 units were shipped to the farther location, how many units were shipped to the closer location? So 47,000 is 5C plus 12 times 3,000. So that is uh, 5C plus 36,000. So 5C is 47 minus 36, which is 11,000. So C is 11,000 by 5, which is 2,200. So 2,200 units were shipped to the closer location. If A and B are the solutions to the equation above, what is the value of absolute value of A minus B? So modulus of 2x plus 1 is 5. So 2x plus 1 can be plus or minus 5. So 2x is minus 1 plus or minus 5, which is 4 or negative 6. 
So x can be two or negative three. So the difference between a and b would be uh, two negative of negative three, which is five. So absolute value of that is also five. Yon purchased an antique that had a value of $200 at the time of purchase. Each year, the value of the antique is estimated to increase 10% over its value the previous year. The estimated value of the antique in dollars two years after purchase can be represented by the expression 200A, where A is a constant. What is the value of A? So this is an exponential function. Final value would be initial value times growth factor to the power t. And growth factor here is 1 plus r over 100. So 1 plus 10 over 100, which is 1.1. So the value after two years would be initial value 200 times 1.1 to the power 2, which is 200 times 1.21. So A would be 1.21. Based on the system of equations above, what is the value of 5x plus 5y? So if we add the two equations, we'll get 5x plus 5y. So that would be 2,500. If u plus t is 5 and u minus t is 2, what is the value of u minus t into u squared minus t squared? So u minus t into u squared minus t squared will be u minus t into u minus t times u plus t because u square minus t squared is u minus t into u plus t. So that will be 2 into 2 into 5, which is 20. So that's the answer. Okay, let's create this. Question 1. B, C, B, C, double A, B, C, B, C, A, 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 seven, D, C, C, D, A, B, D, C, C, D, A, B, thirteen, C B A. C B A. Okay. Then uh, 16. 2200 5 1.21. 2200 5 1.21. And uh, 2520. 2520. Okay, great. So we got all correct. 